Project Z Garage. My name is Ansar and today we are going to be doing some more upgrades to the ML350. Now this is a 2010 ML350 with the V6 and today we're going to be working on painting the calipers. So I saw a bunch of videos and I figured we would try out this new paint system which I guess is not new but this is the first time I'm using it. It's the G2 uh, brake caliper paint system and pretty much this is everything that comes with it in the box so we're gonna go gold if you guys have seen any of my other cars i always have gold brakes i really like the way it looks on the car and it's kind of my theme that i do with all of them at least a little bit we throw some gold brakes somewhere or gold color on it somewhere so what comes in the kit the kit comes with this little container that's not completely full because we will need to mix the reactor into it and also it comes with a can of brake cleaner but we had a can so that's good it comes with this white envelope here and if you throw it out which comes with a paint brush and a stirrer and a sticker and i think some directions are in there but one thing that i've heard about reviews on using the system is to get rid of this paintbrush and to get a good quality uh paintbrush that you won't have to worry about these uh, bristles falling out into the paint. So that's the one thing I'm worried about. I want to get a really good uh, coat. So I think we might look for a new uh, uh, paintbrush to use in this kit. Now, what do we have here? Some helpful hints here. I'll read it out. So it says this paint system has a shelf life of 24 months. The date the kit was produced can be found on the back of the box. This is not the expiration date, it's the date the kit was manufactured. Our paint should be applied in an ambient temperature between 56 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit and in relatively low humidity. Higher temperatures will call paint to harden faster than normal. Once the paint and the reactor are mixed, there are only four to six hours working time. After that, paint left in the can will harden and will not be usable. Plan application accordingly. Now, what this says, and we'll look at that a little bit later, is that once you start mixing the stuff together, you're only going to have a couple of hours, four to six at the most. I, I would say let's go on the, the lower side, about four hours to do all your calipers. So don't think you're going to be able to jack the front of the, cal the car up, do the front calipers, then wait, and then jack the back of the car up, and then do those calipers. Your best bet is to do what we did here which is get four jack stands jack the entire car up so you have access to all of the calipers and plan accordingly and you know break out the amount of time you need for each caliper now this kit is meant to be done on the car and originally i was planning on doing it on the car to show you guys how it is i mean most of the stuff that we paint we usually take off and i usually spray with a spray gun um we don't usually paint it on with a brush but Everyone says they've been seeing pretty good results with these paint on kits. So I really wanted to try it and I figured it'd be easier for you guys to see and easier for us to showcase us painting the uh, calipers if they were off the car. So here we go. Here we have, these are the front caliper, rear caliper, front caliper, rear caliper. We spread it out so that we have enough space in between them so we won't touch while we're working on painting uh, each individual one. Uh, just so you can see what the paint color that we used here is this is the gold that we're going to be painting it's really nice it has it looks like it has some flake in it so we'll see how it comes out and uh, what we did here was take a wire brush with some uh, brake cleaner and pretty much go over every single brake part uh, brake caliper and clean thoroughly the whole brake caliper do not just think that you're gonna be painting this part or this part, clean the whole thing. Um, I know some people have very good luck with two coats. Some people say try to get three coats. And what I think our plan of attack is gonna be is the parts that you're really gonna see the most, we're gonna hit with three coats. And whatever is left of the paint, then we'll paint the back part of the caliper, maybe one or two coats, depending on what's left. So I think our plan is to cover as much as we can with the first coat, a nice, a nice uh, you know, a uh, light coat first so that we know it tacks up and I believe we have to wait 10 minutes in between coats 
and we're going to try to get three coats on the main part. Now, the main part of this caliper we're going to see is this part right here, the top, you know, the bottom here, the top here, and I think we might stop maybe right on the top of the, the back of the caliper here. And then whatever we have left, we'll, we'll uh, do the rest of the areas just because we want to make sure that the parts you're going to see are going to have a smooth, uh, you know, uh, brush, brush, brushless brush yeah brush say, say that 10 times fast the least brush stroke surface you want to level out yeah so we want to give it enough time to level out and we want it thick enough to where the paint levels out after you brush it on we don't want to see brush strokes in it we don't want to see lumpy uh paint work because when we do our, our our spraying out of our calipers they're very smooth and they're very you know very nice which is the way i want these to come out I'm not gonna go too crazy because these are stock brakes, so we didn't we didn't sand them down perfectly smooth. But I'm hoping that the paint is thick enough where it will cover up some of the uh, uh, imperfections or the castings of the uh, caliper. But we're not going to go crazy. We just want them to look really nice, and then you know once we throw the wheels and rims back on it, it'll really pop. So let's get started. We're gonna first work on uh, doing the cleaning and then we're gonna work on mixing and getting all that stuff done okay. all right guys so we have the calipers and the caliper brackets all set up as you see here i took some jack stands and perched the main part of the caliper uh, on those we wiped them down so they're clean and ready for paint also we hung up some of the well all of the brackets so that we can reach all four sides well more than all four sides so we can get in all the nooks and crannies so hopefully we can get a good paint job on these using this uh, g2 paint caliber uh, paint so what we need to do is to mix the reactor here into the paint uh, then wait five minutes and mix it again once we're uh, ready to paint or, or five minutes after we stir everything together uh, remember this stuff will uh, react or start drying relatively quickly you only have uh, you know three to four hours they say but probably faster seeing that it's pretty hot today um, humidity is not as bad as it was the last time or the other day so hopefully we will we'll get some good results I ended up picking up some of these foam uh, paint brushes because uh, I saw in some of the other videos on YouTube people were saying they were getting pretty good results with this and not so many brush strokes uh, uh, left in the paint once this uh, finally cures. Uh, right now Al's uh, mixing up what's in there and then we'll throw in the reactor and start putting on our first coat. Alright, ready to pop the top here. All you're pouring thing? all of it in so one bottle for one container make sure you get all of that out in there all right we'll give it a good stir and then we'll let it sit for five minutes what do you think of the color it looks cool. It looks a little darker than I thought it was going to be, but let's see how it looks once we're, we have it on the calipers. It smells good. Solid. Okay. We're a mask when you're doing this. Yeah, we're in a pretty well ventilated. We have a fan on. But uh, if you guys We're doing this probably good at a wear a mask or something also wear uh, goggles or some sort of eye protection because i did catch myself a little bit when i was spraying it with the brake cleaner so definitely be careful when you guys are cleaning that stuff really comes out with a force so we're gonna let this sit for five minutes yep five minutes let's see what time is it okay uh five minutes 11 15. let me stir it again let huh? me stir it one more time okay all right guys, five minute has allotted, so we're gonna give this another stir.
All right, guys, we've got the first coat done. We're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes, and then we're gonna hit it with the second coat. guys we've got about three coats on all the pieces um, it it is hot in here but I think it came out pretty good you can see here not too many brush marks or anything at all it didn't give me any brush marks it looks pretty good it's pretty flat so the foam brushes are the way to go but I would get a couple of regular brushes just so you can you can kind of touch up places as the foam brushes are very soft so it's kind of hard to get to the tight spots on the calipers so the little brush did help out in that aspect and i'm really happy with the way it turned out we do have a very tiny bit of paint left i don't know if you can see that at the very bottom so we used up a lot of it we may, may have considered it may, i would say about three and a half coats on all of these because we did hit the the faces that that you're really going to see mostly Alright guys, so I think we're going to call it a day for this video. Um, in the next video, we are going to reassemble the brakes. And if you guys have been following the other two installs uh, that we did on upgrade, uh, not upgrading, but replacing the brakes on the front and rear, you would, you would have realized that we did run into some issues, but we did find a solution for them. And in the next video, you're going to find out uh, how we uh, figured out the problem that we faced in that video. And also, you're going to see the final product with your brakes, uh, calipers, rotors, all reassembled and on the Mercedes. Um, normally, I go for a little brighter of a color than this, but I really do like this color. My brother wants more of a, a, a subdued color, not too bright in your face. And I think this does it. It's a nice, like, deep gold color. Um, so I think until next time, guys, uh, just make sure if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You can follow me and subscribe to my Instagram, uh, Twitter, all that stuff is at Project Z Garage. And we will catch you in the next video.